right. Hello, welcome everybody to the Harvest Home Fair Parade 2021 edition. We weren't here last year, but we're here this year. And with me is Margaret Unger and Tim Donovan, who has been here forever. And we are going to talk about the parade and all that comes with it. We're going to talk about the fair also. The fair is back. Okay. There you go. Very good. Okay. We're on. Okay. Welcome to the Harvest Home Parade. We are here in 2021, back after a year that we took off, not because of our choice, but we're happy to bring you the parade with the conjunction of the Green Township Trustees and the City of Cheviot and the Juanus Club of Cheviot Westwood and the Harvest Home Fair Association. With me is Margaret Unger and Tim Nunneman, and we're going to talk about all the units that come by and the folks that come by. And I think we're about ready to begin. And last year, because of the COVID, we did not have it. The year before that, we had rain. So uh, here That's we are. True. The sky is blue, some beautiful clouds. I think we're going to be in for a good day. And for the first entry is the 40 and 8 boxcar, which traditionally led off the parade with a shotgun blast. But the boxcar broke down. So. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, can you do a virtual shotgun blast? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's it's just uh, I don't think I don't think there's any more World War One vets around anyway. So well, it's like it's like this year. Everything is a little different than it used to be. So yeah. we're going to adapt to the change, and uh, we're always used to the uh, the blast from the forty and eight starting off the parade, but it's not here this time. So maybe Dave Backer could fix that thing. You think he could? Good question. Yeah. Good question. It's broken. Yeah. I heard it. I heard it. It was a brake problem. And we don't. Yeah. You know, we don't want the 48 rolling into a crowd. The weather is delightful. The weather is delightful. We're so excited to see so many of our community people out here. Um, this is such a West Side tradition. We're so excited to bring bring. Um, the Harvest Home Fair and the parade to the Cheviot community. It's just an exciting time. The weather's cooperating and it's going to be awesome. And Margaret is a pioneer. The first time you hear her voice is the first time we've had a woman, lady. Yeah, well, Tim will probably get fired. But <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Love to have it you with us. Great. Thank you guys great. for allowing me to be a part of this. It's really an honor. Yeah. And uh, um, I'm so excited. Um, the Harvest Home Fair brings back so many memories for all of us, and yeah. I'm just so glad to be a part of it. Uh, it's just such an exciting time. Um, all of us have had a really hard year, and this just brings us all together and creates that sense of community, and I think it's something that we're all excited to be a part of. And that's what it's all about, and that's why we're honoring the first responders uh to the COVID-19 crisis of folks who were doctors and nurses and aides and nursing homes and whatever. First, first responders. First responders. We have a whole lot of people to thank for all their selfless service. And that's what the theme of the parade is in the fair. Yeah. And uh, it dawned on us uh, that 9-11 was going to be the Saturday of the fair. So we also have another re remembrance of 9-11 20 years ago and yeah. those first responders so it's just uh we're, we're all happy to be here lucky to be here tim i'm looking at a crowd over at shivy school on the lawn that i've yeah. like i've never seen before no it's it's heavy that is, uh, there's a lot of people there yeah. uh, here we go maybe that's that's what we have instead of the shotgun that might be shotgun a we don't have the 48, but we got a siren. Okay. Chevy police are moving, so that must mean the parade is on. Must be. And you can see all the children are excited. They're hearing the sirens. And uh, let's start the Harvest Home Parade of 2021. 
Amen. I don't think I've ever seen so many kids. There's, no. there's little kids, everybody. It's not quite the same as a 48 you know? No, that that's, that's not just not. A 12 gauge kind of yeah. set the tone. Yeah. Sure, we love you and the sirens are nice, but it's not the 48 with that boom to begin the break. We have a, a, vin a vintage police car behind that. It looks like one of those old tri uh, tri uh, tricycle or police who used to give out the parking tickets. There's the motorcycle. I wonder if I wonder if Georgie Schwen rode that motorcycle. He was the police. He was the uh, motorcycle cop when I was in Chevy when I was a kid, uh -huh. and he rode that tricycle all around Chevy. Everybody knew Georgie George Schwen, <laughs> and he was nice to the kids. If you did something bad, he'd take you home and you know say, "Tell your mom and dad what you did." There, you know? <laughs> no juvenile court with George. No, no problem like that. Here comes the Pipers. I guess that's Bill Frank and his group. It must be. Oh, he's, he's, he's getting up. Uh, ride, he's riding in pipe. Yeah. Riding in pipe. Well, there we go. Coming in the on the screen will be the Great Oaks Color Guard with the banner, it looks like. And the Diamond Oaks um, Junior ROTC. Ah, look at it. Good yeah. job, guys. Good job. And the Oak Hills Marching Band. Go Highlanders! Quality, quality marching band. Oh yeah. Big band too. Big band. I'm glad they're playing when they go past us, because sometimes they don't. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Good for Oak Hills. Oak Hills is one of the largest And they make it work too. Yeah, that's right. Here comes Joe Petonato, our club president. He's in a beamer. Hey. Whoa. Yeah. And behind him is who? The uh, Ford Grand Marshal. Oh, Mercy Healthcare. Mercy Healthcare is yeah, the Grand Marshal. Them. And we have to talk about Mercy Healthcare. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most of this group, uh, of Mercy Healthcare, are employees with 40 or more years service with Mercy on the West Side. So, in in uh, conjunction with our salute to first responders, we salute the persons who worked at Mercy over the years and they are very very happy to be here i'm sure and it's a great great crowd and made a see. big investment in the western part of the country of the city well and mercy is one of our major sponsors also thank you mercy health well done well done oh we've got a, a van be, be set also that's i think good. that's also mercy yeah mm -hmm. yeah 
Some of the Grand Marshals are in the van. Those who worked for 40 more or years might not be able to walk down there. <laughs> so they're in the van. That's a good idea. I like yeah. that. I like that. How yeah. do you salute people like that who have given up their lives? Yeah, Did absolutely. I mean, yep. we're so fortunate that they take care of all of us. Amen. That is so true. So true. On the screen now is the mayor of Shibia, Sam Keller. It was in 2019, which unfortunately we didn't have a parade, but Sam was the citizen Grand of the Marshal yeah, citizen, citizen of the, of the year. year. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> That's right, we did. Yeah. <laughs> Next uh, coming up is the Cheviot City Council, Cheviot City Auditor. <laughs> the law director. Yeah. Oh, Tim, look at this. What is that, an old Ford? I have no idea. That's uh, a Chrysler. Is that Chrysler. A Chry oh, a Chrysler. Whoa, that is cool. That is wow. Hi, Amy. How you doing? There's Amy. Hi, Hi Amy. Yeah. yeah, that is cool. <laughs> Jim Sunderman. Hey, Jim, how you doing? There's the Cheviot Fire Department. Uh, on a Quint. Five in one fire truck. Uh, doubtlessly violating all OSHA regulations. <laughs> you uh, think so? Oh, yeah. But I'll tell you, that, that's, they're seeing everything. They've got a great seat. Yeah. Hey, duck when you're going to the wires, guys. Oh, yeah, watch this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They can make it. Watch your head. Be careful. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Did not touch the wire. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, that have been interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at, I must feel all those shimmy tax breaks. Let's make them feel good to see all this go by and say, well, I guess my taxes are doing something good. Is that a snow plow in that truck? That's a snow plow. Oh, there's wow. not going to be any snow today, Tim. Uh, that could be uh, <laughs> a Ford uh, a Harbinger, a yeah. Ford Teller of snow. Oh, it, it's articulated. It's Mike, Mike Horsley coming down with Channel 12. Oh, do not touch a wire. Is do that Herzog? Horsley. No, it's Bob Horsley. It's Bob Herzog. That's crazy, Bob Herzog. Local Stand 12, Channel 9 yeah. News, or yeah. Channel 12 News, and they are a sponsor. <laughs> Next is Dave Backer Auto, which is a sponsor. Um, we'd like to thank Dave. He has served as the parade chair for the past 27 years and is stepping down. He's done such a great job for us. And uh, thanks, Dave, for all that you do. He has a deal. Next on the screen is the Hamlin County Sheriff Cycles. And then uh, here comes the color guard. Looking for the sheriff herself. Well, there's the honor guard, the color guard, the yeah. sheriff. Yep. Do you remember the days when there was one sheriff west of I Street? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those were the good days. That's when I lived in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> it was great being a teenager when there was one sheriff west of Ice Street. Right. Oh, well. Uh, is this the, the Black Watch coming? or? I think it's still part of the Sheriff's Patrol. Oh. They look like all Oak Hills graduates. Well, that's nice to have. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And there's Sharon. I don't know if you can see her or not. She's in behind. Very nice. Well, 
she's out there. Yeah, I think so. Well. Yeah. Remember when Cy used to have that rubber, that rubber the thing? Big, yeah, yeah, the, the big Cy, the big Cy, Cy, Cy the helicopters, oh, plus God the uh, God ATCs. Love it. Oh, we teased him then. Yeah, he, he was, was not, a, he's such a good sport. Yeah. Man. I have a question. Why does the sheriff need straw? Good question. There's a whole thing of straw there. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, I'm surprised people aren't sitting on it. Yeah. yeah, you would think somebody would sit up. Maybe uh -huh. that's for when the Black Watch gets tired, they can go sit yeah. on it. I don't know. That might be the idea, yeah. Is it, there's a young a young man who is not, not, yet, not yet the sheriff. This is a Hamilton County SWAT ah. truck. SWAT team. He looks a little young to be on the SWAT team now. Yes, know. he yeah. does. Tim, this is this is this is rivaling size best. Yes. I mean, what, have we seen a helicopter yet? Not, not, seen it. not yet. Not in the air. Oh, my. Jeez. I like the big boat he had. That was nice. Oh, remember the boat? Yeah, yeah, that was great. Yeah. Well, it turns out during a national emergency, that boat was assigned to Homeland Protection to guard the Southern Railroad Bridge. That was its sole that mission. Was, uh, wow. Yeah, it was a serious. That was uh, a crucial, crucial uh, yeah. bridge. Yeah. Uh oh, the driver got out. Why did he give up? I hope he put the brake on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the paddy wagon. Yeah. Uh, that'd be yeah. the paddy wagon. Yeah, yeah coming in Wardway Fuels. Mm-hmm. Marilyn Ward and Debbie Ward are members of the Chevy Westwood Farms. Elvis Stone Fair. Oh, the Grand Mar Citizen of the Year. That would be Mike Reckel. Yeah, Mike Reckel, there he is. Yay. Mike's been setting up the fair for almost ever. Easy to work with, very proactive. He's asking what has to be done, it's done. Besides all of his work with the boys with the Boy Scouts and his yeah. church. Yep. Mike Reckel, we could not have a Harvestone Fair without Mike Reckel because he sets the whole thing up. Yep. It's a wonderful. Well done. Diamond Oaks Junior ROTC coming by. Yeah, they're out of step, but we won't say anything. Yep. We're just glad they're here. Here, here comes we go. The Red Stockings. They're going to be playing. Hey, South Paul, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be playing at the park. I believe what Friday, Saturday, uh, and they're Sunday. Gonna be playing, Saturday uh, and Sunday, right? Saturday, it's two o'clock. Saturday and Sunday. Wow. One of, the, one of their members came all the way to, from Green County, Xenia, to be here this, to, for the uh, parade. Those uniforms are from 1869. Wow. And they are sponsored by the Cincinnati Reds. They are indeed, and the Reds uh, Foundation and uh, Hall of Fame Museum. Hall of Fame Museum, yeah. Yes. Division yeah. Two, Elder High School's marching band. Would that be purple, Tim? That's the purple. <laughs> that would be purple. Go right. Panthers! That would be purple. I, I think I see a few seat girls in this one. Yep. I think I do. Good football these weekends in the fall. Not only Elder, Coach St. X, OJ, Coleraine. 
Here comes the spirit of elder. Yeah. All right. Football is a great tradition on the west side. Yeah. When I was a senior, we took we took the Rebo funeral home hearse down in the pit. And we, and, and we said, Elder Spirit is dead. We got out and passed it. And then, and then all the guys got up and said, no, no. <laughs> Here comes Green Township. First right, truck is a Quint. Next is an engine. I think we can find the township trustee somewhere here. What? Tri Triffin Chaos and Dave Lindemar. I think they're coming later. No, uh, no, they're, no, they're okay. integrated with this. Okay. You didn't do your homework. I, I wrote that down for you. Folks, we want you to know this is all to make the, the taxpayers feel good. So just, just remember this. Um, just an FYI, um, this Saturday at 9 a.m. at Veterans Park, um, there will be a 9-11 memorial service presented by Green Township. Yeah. There will be. They're having a, they have a piece of steel from the towers at Green Township, and they're going to do a wonderful memorial service. Yeah. Yes. It's very moving to touch that piece, too. Hey, y'all, how you doing? It's like going on the Arizona Memorial. You I'll realize. tell you what, if you were a crook, this would be a great time to hit a bank. Jeez. Yeah. All the cops are here. They know where, it's the, where the place to be. That's Pete. right. Some of the structural steel from the little trade towers at Green Township Administration, but it's, uh, it's very, very moving to touch it. Uh, it's like you know, a thing on the Arizona Memorial. It's, yeah, yeah. And we had a member of our club, uh, Tommy Griffin, who played with Jimmy Doolittle in the Tokyo Raid. Tom was a living memorial. Yes, he was. Well, at least they don't have a snow plow on there anyway. Yeah, well, that's Tom Strauss. Tom Strauss, yeah. Hey, boys. Good to see you. David Lindenberg and Tom Lindenberg. Strauss. Yeah. Triffin, Triffin uh, Kalis. Hi, Trevor. Green Township. I think now the third largest township in Ohio. After Coleraine and one other went upstate. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Here comes Ron's Roost. It's, what, clucking, it's clucking good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have a chick. They have a chick on the chick. Yeah, yeah. a chick on the chick. Yeah. Actually, if you drive past that restaurant, they have that chick on top of their roof. Yeah. It's yeah. a West Side tradition. Here comes a old Rio. That looks like Chevy. It's original. Yeah, yeah. Look, at the, yeah look at the look at that. Transmissions a chain drive. Whoa. This is from the Delhi Antique Club. Woo. I would say. Yeah. That's amazing. That thing is running. It says yeah. it's 1917. Didn't they build Aaron's Fox in Cincinnati? Yes. I down think on they... um, um, not the, that's the corner down on Central Parkway. Um, I don't um, know, but I, I just yeah. kind of. Was built downtown. That, that's Paul Schreiber. Hi, Paul. Yeah. That then they the, ended up what was then J.H. Day oh. Company. Ah. Wow, look at his purple Harley. That's a Harley. Yeah. yeah. Was that Joe Marquette? That's Joe Marquette. Joe Marquette. Marquette. Yes, oh, yeah. Joe Marquette. Sure is. Joe's a member of our club. Cincinnati Chimney. Masonry. Yeah. What's happening, folks, is some of the line units are out of the position, so we're trying to reconcile our sheets with the uh, visual. Oh, well, a chimney sweeps lucky as lucky could be, yeah. right? Yeah, here comes a deuce. Oh, here comes the VFW and the deuce. Are they on yeah. yet? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad we got it running again. That's good. Green Township, VFW 10380 with all the folks. Yep. Hi, Denise. Hi, look at, oh my gosh, can't name them all. 
Hi, right, Mike. Thank you See for you. your service, guys. Hey, Dan. This is made by one of our members, uh, by Bill Ostermeyer. Wow. We have two or three memorials like this. This is obviously Iwo Jima. Yep. Really, uh, really cool. I think Ed Burke was in the deuce in the campsite. He probably was. Yeah. Yes, he probably was. Ed's 100 years old or? 101. 101. 101. D-Day plus one. He was in Normandy. D-Day yeah. plus one. Wow. All the way across to the Elbe River. That must be the Delhi High Township Delhi High Township Police. DTPD. All right, here we go. We got Aiken's band coming up. You can tell the band's coming up. I can see all the children dancing. Oh, you're right. Look at them, Mark. Look at them. Yep. Yeah. They're having a good time. Yes. Aiken's yeah. band is coming up. Aiken High School Marching Band. This is the third division. I hope they play something when they pass. Yeah. I always like to hear a tune when they pass by us. It's the other purple school, Tim. <laughs> My brother-in-law says it. My brother-in-law went to Purcell. He said he got to carry it too because he was the biggest guy, but he didn't know how, he didn't know how to play it. Play it. <laughs> but it was all for show. He had to have a tube in the band, right? They had no mouthpiece, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, those are some big drums, all right. Oh, wow. Look at these wonderful, beautiful cars. The Prowler Club. Yeah, they're followed by the Prowler Club. Club. Uh, I think they stopped making them. They were really hot for a while, around uh, 2000 or so. Yeah. I think they stopped making them, but they're cool. I like them. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh -oh. There's your helicopter, Pete. Yep. There's my helicopter. Yeah. Die we call helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. I think Boeing makes that one. What the Huey, that's for sure. Yeah. I didn't know there were that many prowlers around. That yeah, became a real collector's thing. A lot thing, more of this than there were before. Yeah, those are cool. They're beautiful. Coming up next is the Chevy Police Association. They sponsor so many things for our community, sports teams, events. I know when my children are young, they play t-ball and soccer for CPA. I played not whole baseball class B for CPA. Chevy Police. That was great. Many years ago. My career went nowhere because nobody needs a first baseman who can field but can't hit. <laughs> <laughs> I was a great fielder. Oh well. All right, way to go, CPA. Good job. Coming in behind the CPA is Hoding Realty. Jack uh, has always brought in a interesting float. Would that be a German and band on that float? I would hope so. Would that be a German yeah. band? There's Jack. Yeah. Steve Florian is driving the, the truck. Oh, that's dangerous. Really? Yeah. There's my friend Marilyn. There you go. The classic car show uh, is coming up Sunday, September 26th at Harvest Home Park. 
sponsored by the Western Hills Community Service Club, which I am proudly a member of. And here comes St. Martin's Parish Youth Organization. And there's a big heart coming up. That must be... St. Martin Wildcats. Oh, that's part of St. Martin's. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Whoa, that's a big deal. Wildcat. St. Martin's Wildcats. All right. Usually, Father Terry's in the parade. I don't see him. He's got to be a busy guy. Yeah. St. Martin's, all right. A lot of St. Martin pride here. Well, we are kind of in their home territory, aren't we? Yes, we yep. are. No question about it. What would you call that color? Maroon? Is that maroon? Maroon and white? Yeah, that's maroon. It's almost like West High. Next is Judge Mike Peck. He is running for municipal judge. Pretty cool. Yeah. We have everything in this parade. Next up is Hater Roofing and Furnace Company. Oh, the judge is walking. Yeah. Hope she's got her walking shoes on. <laughs> she does, yeah. That's a long way to walk, Judge. Good to see you. Here comes the helicopter again. You may not see it, but you can hear it. Here it comes. <laughs> I love these old Model Fords. What kind of car is it? Model, they? model T yeah. and a Model A. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look at Gyler. Isn't that Gyler. cool? Yeah. Wow. Can you see Jack Gyler driving that when he was about 16? Yes. Yeah. God bless you. God Guyler bless you. Company. What a good guy. Yeah. Where the hell is she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. Look at the chickens, chickens. and rooster. Yeah. Yeah. Potatoes. Got it all. That's cool. That truck's been around, too, hasn't it? 1946 oh, yeah. fire truck. Wow. Oh, we still got the siren. There we go. I think it could use a paint job. I think it could use a paint job. <laughs> oh, well. Who's next? Well, I think that was uh, Jack Geiler's float in the uh, in with the other group. Oh. Uh, so, These girls are uh, dancing. Yeah. Head to toe. Head to toe dance studio. Oh, they okay. uh, feature ballet, tap, and jazz. Yeah. And you just saw a bunch of their dancers go by. Good job, ladies. All right. Who uh, comes next? Westwood Citizen Club. Oh, here we go. Number 52. The citizens on patrol. Good idea. Oh, that's Smitherman's float. That's, I'm sorry. that's Chris Smitherman's yeah, I don't float. See, I don't see him. Yeah. yeah, he's right there in the middle. Oh, in yeah. the back. Oh, yeah. He is. I see him. All right. He's and this, running for Hamlin, Hamlin County Commissioner. And then uh, Westford uh, Citizens on Patrol. Yep. Next is Grace Lutheran Church. I'm not sure what the hot dog represents, though. I don't, I don't know what that is. Is that a hot dog? <laughs> is that a hot dog? What is it? Well, I don't know, Mark. You, you figured that one out, Mark. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> We're in Rosh Hashanah. Maybe it's uh, kosher. I don't know. I don't know. This is another tribute float for our health care workers. Thank Saying you. another big thank you. 
Next up is Judge Pat Dinglelocker. Hey, Pat. Hey, Pat. How are you doing? Schaefer's towing. That's going to yeah. be. Wow. Look at that. I think all the kids are going to love this. All these big trucks coming wow. through. Shiny and bright. Oh, yeah. And they're really loud. They're really, loud. <laughs> they're really big, too. <laughs> they're, really, they're really absolutely pristine. Clean, clear than a whistle. Beautiful. It's part of the Schaefer Empire. Yeah. They just bought out Milford Towing. I think they have Del High Towing too, don't they? Yeah, they have Del High Towing too. Yeah, I, I met the, uh, I met Freddie. Yeah. You know what? If you were out on an interstate and you really needed to tow, you would, you would want to see them show up. Oh yeah. With uh, all their equipment, the, the, the know-how and the, the lights. Know how to do it. They know how to do it. They even they even they even bring a little skid steer to clean them up after the wreck. Yeah. yeah. How about that? Yeah. Here come the Shriners. You know the, the Shapers exhibit. There was, not, there was not one speck of dirt either. No. no. Margaret, this is the kids' favorite. No question about it. I hope we have some little guys in cars, do we? Do we know? We don't know for sure. I don't know. They have a whole division of themselves. I expect to see yeah. uh, more than one. There's a revolving hat. Well, right. let's see what's coming down the road. Shriners Hospital, what a great job What they a did. great job, yeah, my Isn't that gosh. Amazing. And here comes the Shriners Band. And behind them are their little oh, there cars. They are. There's the cars. Pete, there's the cars. There's the cars. Kids love them. Is this. Oh, there's the clowns on the card. All right. Yeah. When I retire, I want to be the guy who sits on there and clashes the symbols. I think that, that's your job. Would that be fun? Pete, I think you would be. That, that would be an awesome be so, job for you. That'd be so much fun. You would be really good at that. It beats picking up a horse maneuver like you used to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, Tim, be, a you're real, so funny. be a real upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Awesome. Is that a oh. joke or is that part of the stick? I have I no think idea. It's part of a stick. Here come some more cars. All the kids and oh, man. adults who are children love this part of the parade. Aren't they cool? Wow. How do they do that without running into each other? I think there's a lot of practice involved. Well, maybe they don't go to Mari's before. <laughs> that, that's a possibility. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, we got more? Okay. Corvettes. Here comes the red Corvettes. Yeah. 
You know, it's been a long time since we had a crowd this big at a break. Yeah, yeah. This, I mean, is, this is really good. And that's just what we can see. That's right. This, this break goes for a mile and a half. Yeah, exactly. I hope our cameraman's getting a good shot at this, isn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 He's doing good. No coaching required. It's wonderful to hear everybody laughing and having a great time at the yeah. parade. Yeah, it's a real crowd pleaser, no question about it. Big guys and little cars. Yep. Well, now we got motorbikes. Little oh, motorbikes. All right. Those guys are bigger than the bikes. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Considerably so. Yeah. They may have fun doing this, but I'll tell you, Schreier hospitals are beyond belief. Yeah. I have seen students go through that over yeah. the years. And miracles every day. Yeah. Okay, Pete, what are these next things called? Whoa. What, that's, that's, my kids used to have those. Those were called big wheels. Big wheels. Big wheels. Yeah. Yeah, wow! Power, power big wheels. Okay, Pete, this is what I want to drive. I want to be on one of those. You're right. That would be fun. That looks awesome. It's adult big wheels. Adult big wheels. Yeah, <laughs> I never thought it. steel belted on the back tires. Whoa. I don't know. Do kids nowadays, do they know what big wheels are? I don't know. Good question. I don't think they recognize them. I loved my big wheel when I was a kid. My neighbor almost moved away because we had big wheels. And my kids had big wheels. We had a long, steep driveway. They go down there and you know, turn around. And made a tremendous amount of noise. Whoa! Okay, coming up next is a looks like a big wheel semi truck, but it's. Small scale. Is that cool or what? <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that. That is cool. Yeah. That is cool. It's an over the over the road shriner. <laughs> not not over the hill. Over the road. Over the road. Over the road. Over the road shriner. Whoa. Oh, what a great show. What a great show. Wow. Big thanks to the Shriners. They know how to represent. They do. Next up is the Coleraine High School Marching Band. In addition to having a fantastic marching band, they have a great football team. Yes, but not afraid to play tough opponents either. Coleraine High School Marching Cardinals. Oh, oh good. I hope they play something for us. Come on. Oh, here we go. They're going to play. Good. Yeah. Next up is the Sophie's Angel Run has partnered with Queen City Running to resurrect the one mile run prior to the Harvest Home Parade. There were over 150 participants for this one mile run, including training groups from Queen City Running, Cross County Runners and individuals. Proceeds from this event will benefit pediatric brain tumor research at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center in memory of 18-month-old Bridgetown res resident Sophie Men Men Menhart. Very good. For another worthwhile charity on the west side, please support Sophie's Angel Run Walk, which will be held September 26th. We have German music, German dancing. It's the Oktoberfest. We also have the I wonder, karate girls. I would like to know what beverage is in those glasses. Menus. 
Uh, I would think it's probably water. <laughs> probably drink of water. That special German water. Special yeah. German water. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Oktoberfest is coming up Friday, September 24th, 6.30 p.m. Saturday, the 25th, 4 to midnight. Come and join the fun. German beers, domestic beers, all kinds of goodies. Just walked by. It was an NWP dance team. They're located down at 128. Uh, you see, always see cars going in and out of there. It's a big clientele. Some more of the then WP dance team. Showcase America 2018 Grand Champion. Also in 2021. Good job, girls. You can see why they won awards. They look yep. great. They're coordinated. Oh, I see an ice cream cone coming. General Custard's Gulf and Gulp. Yeah. Open till Halloween. They're going to be there till the 31st. Waffle cones and all the goodies. Have an ice cream and you can do a round of putt putt golf. That's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. You can play golf there. Open till Halloween. All right. Ooh, and they've got shaved ice. Yummy. Oh, uh, yeah. There's Stephanie Dumas. She's running for county commissioner. Hi, Stephanie. Here comes the U.S. submarine Mets. Uh, complete with torpedo. That's the USS Cincinnati. Oh, I thought that was a torpedo. No, it's, it's uh, a model. Oh, it's got a sail on it. 693. I see. Yeah. I and, see. Uh, hey guys. The pig, the pig boat match. Now we are looking at the Cincinnati Junior Roller Girls. Uh oh. Is this the ones they knock you down? Uh, the roller derby? I don't know. I don't think so. That is something I would not attempt. Yeah. Next coming up is from the Cincinnati Fire Museum. So this is a day. 1948 map. Whoa. Nice. Very nice. Amazing how far things have come, isn't it? Yeah, Amazing. really. Technology is a good thing. <laughs> yep. The Stay Heard Committee. J.A. Heard Jr. Hi, Mr. Heard. City of Cincinnati Council. Yep. Have you heard of Heard? Have you heard of Heard? Yeah. yeah. I think he came to some of our Harvestone Fair yeah, he did. Association meetings. Yeah. He sure did. He did. Yep, he did. Yeah, he was about two or three of them anyway. Yep. Yeah, good for him. Uh, who's next after the Heard? Boy Scout Troop 288. Hey guys. Chevy Elementary. Just across the street. Just across the street. My yeah. alma mater. I graduated kindergarten there in 1948. Oh my gosh. That's right. I'm telling you, I hadn't been the same since. <laughs> <laughs> I had a daughter that went uh, attended kindergarten there. Is that right? They do a great job. And there's a neighborhood school now, too. It is. It is, and uh, it's a wonderful school. The kids yeah. are great. I like it. Coming up next is the pride of LaSalle High School, their marching band. This division. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
Come on, folks, play. Tim, we've been trying to get we've been trying to get the bands to play when they come past us, but they don't. There is a Steve Shabbat. This is very distinguished. I, I have a worse comb over than Steve. <laughs> I, well, I do. You see it. Steve is it's followed the same by Saint Aloysius <laughs> Gonzaga. <laughs> This is a big group. It's a big group. It sure is. The Gators. I didn't know that. That was it. Well, it's the Alligators. Aloysius oh, Alligators. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Say it, Alice. That's, uh, Look at all those smiling, beautiful faces. Yep. I went to grade school there. Eighth grade. Yeah. Oh, wait, eighth grade. Say that. They have a preschool now. Says they're unrolling now. Synonymous with Bridgetown, St. Alice. Who's coming next? I see a red Ford. Boy Scout Boy Troop 107. Ah, all right. Yeah. That's the way to do the parade. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, they're being towed like water skiers. Yeah. How about that? How cool is that? How in, that's the first, that's a parade first for me. I've never seen that before. <laughs> wonder who, wonder wait, who they get to the down, wait till they get to the downhill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at this yeah. train. I think that train was recently at Harvest Home Park. It was. Should see it this weekend. You too. can come to the fair, come to the fair and uh, have your kids ride the train. Great idea. That's still 107. Oh, sure enough. Ready to the camera, kids. All you have to do, is, if you're ever in a parade, all you have to do is wave and say, hi, Joe, hi, Mary, and you, you covered half the <laughs> you people. You have the audience. That's right, that's right. Next up is the 4-H Livestock Club of Hamilton County. I think they might have some of their livestock. Livestock. At the oh, look Home at the goats. Fair. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. And I see, it looks like a rabbit. Oh, and a miniature horse or pony. I think that's a, I think that might be a miniature horse. Yeah, yeah. there we yeah. go. Next is Hospice of Cincinnati. A wonderful organization. Hospital yes, Cincinnati. absolutely. Oak Hills Dance Team. Which includes the Oakettes, the Juniors, the Minis, and the Primary. Oh, wow. They got it all covered. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's some really little kids back there. There you go. Here comes a, here comes a band mom running up. Oh. Yay for band moms. Yay, yeah, betcha. Oh my gosh, the, yeah. the, real, the, real, oh, little, the yeah. real little ones these they put are, in a truck. These are the minis or the They're little the ones. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that cute? They're precious. Yeah. We have an almost three-year-old granddaughter to start playing soccer. She's in the game about three minutes and says, I'm taking a break and sits down. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this. 
Now there's a child that has more sense than most adults. Yes. That's right. Yeah. What is this? I'm taking a break. Taking a break? Yeah. Betsy Sunderman. She got a vintage uh, Ford or Chevy. That's a Chevy. That's a Chevy. Yeah. Here is Over Betsy in. Sunderman. Yeah. City council member. Her dad, her dad Hal, was went to Georgetown uh, Law School. He was a year or two ahead of me. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I know, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. LCNB National Bank. Lebanon City National Bank, I think. Well, that was very good, Tim. Lebanon yeah. City. I like that song. Next coming up is the Chevy Eagle Riders. Wow. Wow, that's a nice old truck. Yeah. You know what? Those are Shriners that grew up and got big bikes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right, Pete. Yeah. Coming up next is the Girl Scouts of Western Ohio. Wow. Looks like there's some daisies, brownies, junior Girl Scouts. And there's the moms who support them all. Oh, that's right. Holding up the rear. <laughs> carrying water. Usually the moms are carrying water and first aid kits. And, yeah, all that. Got to take care. Uh-oh. Oh, ouch. Yeah. Her sandal broke. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, that's a oh, long way to go. That's bad. Yeah. Okay, coming up is uh, the Emerge Dance Emerge Team. Emerge Dance Team. There they are. Boy, these are a bunch of energetic young ladies. They certainly are. They have recreation and competitive classes in White Oak and Harrison, dance and tumbling. Well, they're going to get a workout if they do that all the way. Yeah, that's right. It's a mile and a half to the park. <laughs> they're going to get a workout. Yep. When they turn on the glove, we'll probably need a water break. They look like they're having a wonderful, fun time. I think they are, Margaret. I think they're having a great time. And I love the green ribbons in their hair. Yeah, yeah isn't that a nice touch? Uh, followed by the faithful moms again. Yep. Gotta love and those a, dance moms. And a faithful dad or two. Yep. Margaret, at one point, were you a dance mom? Yes, I was. Okay, I just wondered, you dropped the name three or four times. I figured might be a connection there. SPCA, Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. They have uh, Simmons Farm out on 128, just north of Miami Town, and they run adoptions out there all the time. So, nice group. Very nice. Old Doc Simmons gave him that ground. Yeah. 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 John Williams for Council. John Williams. Yeah. Well, Doc Simmons, his son that was named Earl. He was a he was a Earl Simmons was a famous West Side attorney, and you'd call Earl on a uh, you know on a case, and Earl would say, you know what? It's a beautiful day. I'm going fishing today. Call me tomorrow. <laughs> that was the best way to practice law. I thought, whoa, what a model! What a model! He was great. Wow, that's a pretty car. Yeah. The Delta 88. Gosh. Next up is Cincy Tap. There go 
is Mike Yoon. Mike Yoon. Oh. They got very colorful little twirlers. Yeah. Girls have got a long way to go. Well, they got some little guys there. Yeah. That's a lot of steps for little legs. <laughs> it is. I think that's why they have the wagons. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's right. Next up is uh, Jim Tarbell, who Jim is running Tarbell. for Cincinnati there City Council. There he is, Apple coming up. In his wonderful top hat and yeah. cane. There he is, that's right. Jim was always colorful. Always. Well, he, he still was, is. Yeah. He was Pete and Jim in, in the, uh, in the uh, opening day parade. Yeah. Pete and Jim. Pete and Jim. His peanut roaster. And yep. they had Herm Weimar, too. <laughs> Yeah, opening day. They thought they lined up next to us. Yeah. Hi, Jim. What's, is Jim running for city yeah, council? Yes, city council. Yes, he is. He's running uh, for city council. Wow. Next coming up is our health care heroes from Hellebrand Nursing and Rehab. All right. Well done. Thank you. My brother-in-law was there after his bout with COVID. He recovered at Hellebrand. Jim did. Did that right? Yeah. Yeah. They did a wonderful job. Yeah. Yeah, two weeks of good Sam and three weeks of old brand, I think. A big thank you to our healthcare workers during this time of yes, COVID. Sir. Yeah. Can't Amen. do this without you. Yeah, they've been wonderful. You know, it took, what, 50 years before people realized how bad the 1917 flu was. And it might take 50 years to realize how bad or good yeah. the COVID was this year. Yeah. Take some time to settle in. One of my colleagues at the college is writing a book on it, and uh, oh, really? he's trying to beat the publisher, beat to the publisher and get it out. He's just, yeah. just overwhelmed by all the information you got to try to digest and put out. Next up is MedScore. And they provide vocational training exploration, entrepreneurship, and community service. Wow. I brought some vehicles too for the younger, yeah. for the younger set. Oh wow, look at the balloons, that's cool. Yeah. Little girl's hitching a ride on a roller skate. Yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Yeah. They're on their roller blades. Yeah. Next up is Dedicated Senior Medical Center. And the Oldsmobile Club. Yeah. They don't make them anymore. No, not for quite some time. They do not make them anymore. That is the Greater Cincinnati Northern Kentucky Chapter of the Oldsmobile Club of America. Yep, that's great. You meant to put one of those things in your garage. <laughs> wow. Well, they were kind of like boats. Yeah. A lot of iron there. Yeah. Next coming up is the Taylor High School Marching Band. All right. The Yellow Jackets. And they're going to play for us. All right. Sixth Division. That is 
is a great marching band. Isn't that great? Oh, man. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, Good they, job, guys. They played for us. We're prejudiced. They played for us when they came by. They're very good. Very good. Keying for Council. Well, that's a throwback. That could have been yeah, 50 years ago. Yeah, that's a name for a long yeah. time. That's right. Bill and Charlie, when I was dating myself. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he looks like a Keating. Yeah, he, he sure does. Yeah, yeah, Probably sure. a swimmer, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Coming up next is Trisha's Tappers and Twirlers. I had no idea there were so many dance outfits and yeah. tappers and twirlers and whatever. I had no clue. You gotta keep these kids busy, Pete. Yeah, that, that must be it. Oh, these, they have the, uh, the flaming batons. Oh. It's too bad it's not dark. That would really be cool in the yeah. dark, wouldn't it? Make sure you're catching right, huh? I was going to say that you want to make sure you catch it in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a whole other issue going on That's here. That's right. Oh, well, they have to dip it in uh, kerosene or whatever. The guy's got a bucket. Oh, yeah. They're dipping yeah. it in. I guess that's the kerosene. You can smell it from here. Or whatever. Anyway, then you have to get a light from your buddy. Oops, she got a little bit too much on there. Yeah. There you go. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. Off the cameras, one young lady put the baton and came down sideways. You could catch it from the other head. I wonder how long it takes to graduate to the fire from the oh, I don't know. pom poms to the fire. That's a good question. Next up is Cincinnati's Savings and Loan. Savings and loan. I thought it was Hag Ford, Hag but it's Ford, yeah. Savings and Loan. Wow. The Deutsch team, is that part of the Donnerschwaben or I what? think it's Coldwell Banker. I think it's um, oh, it's oh, okay. Instead of having individual, it's Tom Deutsch. He's selling Tom, real estate. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Okay, I thought maybe it was something you know German Dutchy thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think instead of having just one individual realtor, they... yeah, ah, uh, here comes Kevin. Here comes Kevin. Yeah, clever Kevin. Really clever. That's yeah. Good. Hey Kevin, how you doing? Yeah. Kevin Flynn is running for city council. The Cincinnati Bearded Barons. Okay. Uh, I guess you got to have a beard to be in it. Well, I don't know. They covered a lot of All ground there. All it says there. they are the Cincinnati Beard Barons yeah. Facial Hair Club. Yeah, first financial, Iori. I mean, my gosh. Yeah, they covered it all. They, they covered all it all. one truck. I wonder, I wonder uh, how that worked. That's Next good. is Steve Gooden for council. And Tri Health is behind them. Yeah. 
These are our uh, heroes, our healthcare heroes that we are honoring tonight. Tri Health is a really big bus, really big van. Mobile mammography. Wow. There is the Tri Health 3D mobile screening mammography. So many companies have changed, or hospitals have changed and merged their names. This is part of Bethesda. It's now part of Tri Health. Yeah, Bethesda, Good, good Sam. Oh, see, and, I can read. I, know, I can't and, read. <laughs> I can't read. And uh, Bethesda North, it's, I mean, it's pretty crazy how the three yeah. things have changed. Yeah. Here are the Linkettes. I think Judy Link has been in this parade with her Linkettes for maybe <laughs> 30 <laughs> years. Yeah, the grandmas are out there. A long time. Long, long time. Judy driving? Yes, well, she sure is. Uh, sure is. I think she is. Yeah. Yep, sure enough. The Linkettes. That, uh, that's a long. That was like the original dance. The original team. dance, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They were on Glenmore. Yep. Where are they located now? Are they still in Glenmore? I don't, I don't know. I think they're on North Bend Road. North Bend Road? Right where Kroner's yeah. Kroner directly is. Yeah. This looks like a political thing here. Yeah. Great Jean. Is this a Cheviot Republican Club, I guess? Oh, the Cheviot Republican Club. There we go. There's Ray Jean. Yeah. Brian Smith. Next up is Dance Flash Fusion. This might be a record for dance teams. Dance teams. Yeah, yeah. We're very happy to have them. I've never seen so many. Wow, these ladies look like they're ready to have some fun. Yeah. Oh, this is not the kids. This is the, uh, <laughs> this are, is the senior edition. <laughs> these are ladies of a certain age, Jim. Yes, <laughs> ladies of a certain age. <laughs> I love it. Next is Galen Gordon, who is running for city council. Now we are looking at the Corain Angels cheerleading group. <coughs> Corain Angels. I wonder why they didn't have red on. Red is coal range color. Yeah. Good question. Next is Samantha Westerhouse, who's running for Cheviot City Council. Okay. Hi, Sam. There she is. Yep. See you. Next is the Cheviot Eagles Flag Corps. And look at that beautiful flag. That's a big, I wonder how big that flag is. That's a big one. That's a big one. I think that's Mary Weinberg for school board. Next is the Dent Schoolhouse.
Those are some scary characters coming through here. Well, well. Yeah. Well. Looks like Halloween, doesn't it? That's uh, not that far away either. <laughs> wow. We're in September, we have October. Yep. Ah, oh, even poses for pictures. Oh yeah. no, look at this haunted school bus. Whoa. That is scary. Wait a minute, I used to ride with a kid who looked just like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was strange. There's oh, my friend Sylvia from Visiting that. Angels. Okay. Yeah. Wow. They are a home assistance living services. Next is the Hamilton County Democratic Party. Is it a coincidence that the angels precede the Democrats or is that? <laughs> is that Stephanie? Okay. You said there's no hope? No Stephanie! No, never met. You can't hear me. Yeah. Pediatric dentist, Trisha McNamara. Known as the pediatric dentist. And they have beautiful colored tutus on. Yeah. There he is. It's Matt Ross. Next is the Tim Ryan campaign for U.S. Senator. Followed by the Tigers. Yeah. That must be uh, Our Lady of Wood. Our Lady of Lords, Tiger Pride, coming through. Yeah, the sun is an open seat this time, isn't it? Rob Whitney's not running. Right. Coming up now is the Western Hills High School Marching Band. Right. Go Mustangs. Go Mustangs. This will be the 8th Division. 8th Division. I was trying to count. I was trying to count how many baseball players that played Major League ball came out of West High. Uh -huh. I, with the help of some of our Kwanians, I came up with Jim Fry. Yeah, Jim. Art, that's the guy I was trying to think of. Art Mahaffey, yep. Eddie Brinkman, Don Zimmer, and of course Pete Rose. Pete Rose. Rose yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's impressive. And Herman Weimar, who nobody yeah, remembers. Herm, yeah. Job. Thank you for playing. Yeah. I'm glad I never qualified for that club. No. God bless him. Dune Buggies. This is called Dune Buggies Incorporated. Tim, how far do you have to go to find a dune? Indiana. Indiana. Indiana dunes? Yeah. Indiana dunes. Or Western, Michigan. Western Michigan, Lake Michigan, Western of the state. 
It's a spectacular thing. Oh. Do they allow dune buggies though? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You can even take a, they really? take you on rides. Take your really? dad's car and tear it up. <laughs> oh. I had no clue. I put, this, put that on my bucket list. One of, yeah. our, one of my kids' favorite vacations as children. Really? Dune bugging on the dunes. Oh, yeah. Wow. I have to try that. That sounds like fun. I think the ones in Michigan are bigger. Yeah. The ones in Michigan are better. Yeah. Wow. I had no clue. There's a dune buggy club even. Wow. Coming up now, Oakdale Club Scouts. Pack 186. Cubby Scouts. Well, I hope everybody comes to the park. Yeah. Because, as you know, there's free admission to the park after the parade. And we are going to have entertainment from 7 to 9. We're going to have Amy Saylor yeah. at the park. Uh, so come into the park. It's free. Uh, the rides will be running. Uh, any, any deals on meals? Uh, no, there are no because, uh, but we do have um, adult uh, beverages. Uh, we have Amy Saylor. We have the rides running and the food trucks uh, are going. So it would be a good thing to come to the park after the parade and kick off the 2021 Harvest Home Fair. Man. Runaway federal government. You know what? That's been going on for 200 years. Ever, years. ever since the Constitution. <laughs> but the solution to it is the Constitution, which yeah, provides right. for it's the a, convention. Now what? is Amy Bowen, Bowman with the Fire Baton Group. Um, oh, there they are. I see them. They're yeah, on a the monitor. Yeah. They're on fire. They're, uh, I, oh. I can smell the kerosene or whatever it is. Yeah. You have to learn how to do that. It would take some intestinal fortitude to throw that up in the air and try to catch it. For me, anyway. I agree. You'd have to be really brave yep. to be throwing fire in the air and trying to catch it. Yeah. <laughs> I used to worry it would catch my hair on fire, but that's <laughs> no problem anymore. There was a problem a while back with girls using what, loose in their hair and yeah. chem labs. <laughs> Explosions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It wouldn't would have been close to it. Cool. Rogue twirling. Up next is Brett Centers, who is running for Congress. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Okay. I guess that's Brent right there with the... Uh, that must be Brent Sanders. Yeah. Well, he's got a cute little daughter probably there. Yeah. Up next is Dater Montessori School, home of the Dater Gators. A rogue Kwanian going by in his dune buggy. <laughs> yeah. Dater Montessori School is where my two daughters attended. Oh. It's a great school. They did, they did graduate, right? You said they attended. I think 
Yeah, and they, well, they graduated. Okay, but they you. attended, that was their elementary well, that was school. Good. That was good. Okay. okay. Then they went to Clark Montessori School ah. and graduated from high school. <laughs> Very good. On, then on to Vanderbilt. Wow. Both of them. Ah, oh, Jim Weber's uh, a Vandy graduate. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Harrison Dance Team. They must be from Harrison, Ohio. Harrison Green. Oh, look at the little ones. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. They start them out young, don't they? Wow. Next is the Western Hills Church of Christ. That's a pretty cool little engine. I made an yeah. engine out of his uh, lawnmower. <laughs> Next is Jackie Frondorf, who is running for city, city council. council. City Council. I think the thing in politics now is to carry carry a kid with you or have a puppy in a in a yeah. one or the other. Next is the Purcell Marion High School marching band. All right. They are the Cavaliers. Yes, they are. This is the ninth division. Also, the last division. Anybody that wants to any run for any school board anywhere. Oh, <laughs> you got to, yeah. That is a tough, tough job. Tough, tough job. Yeah. Coming up now is Royal Destruction. Stay energetic to be in this parade, I tell you. Yeah, yeah. It's a long ways to the park. Keep dancing, girls. Keep dancing. <laughs> Raising Cane's Chicken. And they are just down the street. They are just down the street. Yeah. Yeah. And in fact, if the wind was blowing right, you could smell the chicken. Yeah, yeah. Next is TGC Gymnastics Center. The gymnastics Looks like they're going to cartwheel all the way oh down the street. Ooh. That's oh. a long ways, girls. A mile and a half, girls. <laughs> I love the energy. <laughs> I'm tired just watching them. Yeah. Long ways, girls. Long ways. Wow. 
It's Waif. It's Waif. Reggie Harris for City Council. Is that the Reggie Harris? I guess that would be Reggie Harris. Looks like a yeah. yeah. Uh, must be. Yeah, my gosh. Ah, uh, it must be election year. Yeah. Must be election year. Grossman for council. WDJO, home of the oldies, 1480 AM. Sure that was a dusty road station, wasn't it? That was a dusty road station, yeah. Yeah, yeah it sure was. I'm trying to figure what kind of car that is. I don't know. It's got a cozy wing, though. It's got a cozy wing. Yeah. That's, that's what we did before air conditioning. That's right. Yeah. Remember those? Yeah. And it was cool if you opened a cozy window. Sorry, guys. What's a cozy wing? See that little triangular <laughs> window? You open, you would open, you would open that, and that would blow the cool air in on you before air conditioning. And it would blow air in. I think wow, that's a Ford. Okay. Yeah. That a Ford. I think it's a Ford. There's the waterworks. There's been a lot of waterworks digging going on. This year. Uh, I have a lot. question. Why is it necessary for the waterworks to advertise? Is it good know? question? Good <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, it's a friend. Yes, that's <laughs> Cynthia. I guess. Maybe. She... <laughs> it's great to see old friends. Right. Well, yeah. We haven't seen each other in a while because yeah. of COVID. Ah. This is classy canines. It's a dog, pet, sitting, and daycare center. Classy canine, only in Chevrolet. Only in Chevrolet. And Chevrolet. look at those dogs. Big ones, medium-sized, and tiny ones. This is Shingles All the Way coming on. And I thought Shingles All the Way. Yeah. yeah. I thought you could vaccinate for that. Shingles All the this Way. This is coming up. What do I see? Gary. Brian Gary Brian for Carey. City, City Council. Council. Mm -hmm. And Keith Carney for City Council also. Is that going to fit on the ballot? Jean Michel, Lemon, Jerry, uh, Kearney? That's kind of a. I guess that's. It's a tongue twister. That yeah. is a tongue yeah. twister. And they're followed by the end of the parade. The so the parade. this is pretty close to a record, I think. 726 is under an hour and a half. Hour and a half. We've had these things go over two hours. It was still dark outside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this has been a pleasure, folks. It's been fun. Yeah. Margaret, can, uh, excellent. We can watch the, uh, the Chevrolet uh, equipment drive by with their flashing lights. Yep. And uh, we don't know. We, are we still on, Mike? We don't know, do we? Okay. All okay. Right. So now it's time for everybody to go to Harvest Home Park. Amen. And enjoy... Harvest Home Fair. Harvest Home Fair, take a ride, have an adult beverage, listen to our music, uh, Amy Saylor from seven to nine, and have a great time. This was brought by Waycross Community Media, uh, the sponsor from Green Township. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent and job. We do thank Green Township. Always, always, always. They've sponsored the parade for how many years? Hard to know. Uh, also, yes, I'd are. like to thank the TV audience for tuning in. Um, this has been a beautiful evening in downtown Cheviot. It has indeed. Margaret, welcome to the team. So good to be here with you. Oh, thank you. you did well. Good night, every. Good, good night, everyone.
Good night.